It is my honor and privilege as the Chief, Chief Faculty Marshal to proclaim the opening of the 2021 Butler University College of Liberal Arts and Sciences Commencement Exercises. First, I would like to thank Professor Michael Colburn and the Butler Wind Ensemble. Thank you for providing our lovely prelude and processional music. At this time, I am pleased to introduce Mr. Gary Butkus of the Butler University Board of Trustees. Thank you, Dr. Sorensen. On behalf of the Butler University Board of Trustees, it's a pleasure to welcome you to Butler University's College of Liberal Arts and Sciences commencement ceremony. I would like to extend special congratulations to each of the members of the class of 2021 for reaching this important milestone in your lives. Soon, you will join the illustrious ranks of approximately 50,000 Butler alumni who live in every state in our union and more than 71 countries throughout the world. Their career and achievements attest to the quality of their Butler experience. Now, please join me and stand and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem by the Butler Wind Ensemble, conducted by Professor Michael Colburn. At the conclusion of the national anthem, please be seated. Gwen Vallis, double major in International Studies in Spanish, will now offer her thoughts on commencement. Hello, esteemed members of the audience and the legendary class of 2021. 
Thank you all for your hard work, determination, and endurance during our last year as undergraduates. If there's one thing I learned at Butler, it is, si lo puedes soñar, lo puedes hacer. If you can dream it, you can do it. My grandparents dreamt of a better life in the land of opportunities, and they uprooted their lives to move to the U.S. My parents dreamt of me going to college, and here I stand. I dreamt of seeing the Great Wall of China, and I climbed it in the summer of 2019 because I took advantage of the study abroad opportunities Butler offers. If we allow ourselves to dream and apply our education to make our dreams a reality, the world will never be the same. Education is a vehicle for change. It is something nobody can take from you. But as we continue to learn and grow, we must push for accountability, accessibility, and for a better tomorrow for everyone. We are the generation of change, and I hope you take action because this is the year of no regrets. Follow your dreams and do it now because you are not guaranteed tomorrow. I stand before you today as a 21-year-old, but after the year we've had, I feel like I've lived 100 years. <laughs> we have survived a global pandemic, lived through two recessions and 16 years or more of education to make it to this point. Now, more than ever, we have had to rely on our community of care to push us towards achieving this goal of graduating today. The sacrifices and investments made into our education by the people who love and support us will always be appreciated and recognized. Our degree will act as a vehicle for social change for our families and communities. As Butler students, we have accumulated educational and experiential opportunities that will allow us to make a meaningful difference in the world. Thanks to our LAS education, we are a class that understands that the compassion of humanity comes from knowledge, spreading awareness, and holding people in power accountable. The road that lies before us is unpaved and uncharted territory, for it is up to us to define what this graduating class is made of. I am proud to say my Butler education will help me change the world, and I hope you will as well. Thank you. Please enjoy our talented Butler Corral's performance of The Road Home with music by Stephen Paulus and text by Michael Dennis Brown. Thank you to Dr. Eric Stark and the Butler University Corral.
At this time, please welcome Dr. Terry Jett, Professor of Political Science and Peace and Conflict Studies Department and Faculty Director of the Hub for Black Affairs and Community Engagement and Senior Advisor to the President, and this year's Faculty Speaker for the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences Class of 2021. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. This has been quite a senior year for you, the culmination of many years of uncertainty, of fears, of struggles, despair, of growth, recognition, of joy, and of dreams realized. When I considered how to define this moment of your graduation, I thought of a conversation that I had with students in my black political thought class regarding the collective markings of generations that shape how you see the world and can define your journey in particular ways. There are naturally some differences that separate the collective consciousness, race, gender, status, the life as a child in 46208, even considering the proximity to this institution, is different than the life of a child in 46062 or 46122 or 46131. And those are just some of the Indiana zip codes I'm mentioning. And yet you find yourself here today together. In our college core value statement, we state, quote, liberal arts education seeks ultimately to open us to the human condition in its pains and joys, thereby to nurture our personal integrity and to foster in us compassion and respect for those whose lives we share in our own communities and around the world, end quote. Some aspects of your generational markings include you were born post the 9-11 Terrorism Act, the state of an endless declaration of war and enhanced surveillance and hypersecurity measures, including the increased militarization of the police. You have only known a digital world, social media, text messaging, a great recession, increased gun violence, the Arab Spring movement, the real experience of climate change, an increase in hurricanes, the government mishandling and disregard of those most affected by Hurricane Katrina, the election of President Barack Obama, followed by the election of President Donald Trump, the centering of the Black Lives Matter movement, and now you've arrived, while we are still in the midst of a global pandemic. Maybe next I should say, wow, you did it. Well done, and indeed, I am in awe of you and inspired. The class conversation I mentioned previously made me think of my own generational markings and that of those of my people who paved the way for my ability to be here today and who, like some of your family members, left the familiar in search of a better life, not just for them, but for generations to come. They worked very hard, sacrificed, endured unspeakable racism and oppressive conditions, relied heavily on their faith, and did the best they, can, they could to defer their own gratification, dreams, for the sake of their children and children's children, of whom they maintain high expectations. Our conversation made me consider how I was introduced early on by my parents to the words of Langston Hughes. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat or crush sugar and over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load or does it explode? What dream is Langston Hughes referring to? The American dream? I don't think so. He knew when he wrote that poem in 1951 that it was just an illusion because he was reflecting on the lives of black people in Harlem at that time. As W.E.B. Du Bois wrote in 1903 
in his essay of spiritual strivings, quote, after the Egyptian, the Indian, the Greek, and Roman, the Teuton, and Mongolian, the Negro is a sort of seven son, born with a veil and gifted with second sight in this American world, a world which yields him no true self-consciousness, but only lets him see himself through the revelation of the other world. It is a peculiar sensation, this double consciousness, this sense of always looking at oneself through the eyes of others, of measuring one's soul by the tape of a world that looks on in amused contempt and pity. One ever feels his two-ness, an American, a Negro, two souls, two thoughts, two unreconciled strivings, two warring ideals in one dark body whose dogged strength alone keeps it from being torn asunder." End quote. No, from where I sit, Langston Hughes was referring in this instance to one's own dreams and possibilities conceived within the expanse of your own radical imagination. And I imagine that the education you received in our college, regardless of your major, has prepared you well to face whatever lies ahead and to continue to be successful. From the biology department, quote, the connections between the biological sciences and the rest of the liberal arts are manifold as biological findings of the past century and a half have had a major impact on ethics, religion, philosophy, government policy, psychology, and the arts, and are likely to continue to do so, end quote. From the Modern Languages, Literatures, and Cultures Department, quote, study of literature, drama, and film of another culture certainly heightens awareness of the joys and pains of life and fosters respect for those who are both involved with us and different from us, end quote. From the Department of Political Science and Peace and Conflict Studies, quote, as political scientists, we seek to understand the causes of wars, social injustices, economic disparities, and uneven technological growth for the purpose of alleviating suffering because a liberal arts education encourages an activist disposition, we look for ways to address problems such as world poverty, inadequate health care, educational disparities between neighboring communities, and environmental degradation, and seek nonviolent solutions to human rights violations worldwide. You can't even graduate from this university without crossing our path. And we know that those of you who chose this college as your intellectual home are certain to be the leaders we seek to move us all forward for better days to come. As Angela Davis said, we have to talk about liberating minds as well as liberating society. As you walk across this stage, consider your mind liberated. Congratulations. And now, the 21st president of Butler University, James Danko. Thank you, Dr. Jeff, for your inspiring words and really a last uh, lecture for not only our students, but our guest. You're terrific. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. I want to thank our guest for being here today to celebrate our graduates. Given what we've all experienced over the past year, I think we've gained an even deeper appreciation for the importance of social gatherings and the value of celebrating life's milestones together. While we might prefer Hinkle Fieldhouse to be at full capacity, I'm grateful we are able to safely accommodate guests this year. To our graduates, I congratulate you on the accomplishments that have brought you to this day. Certainly, graduating from college is not easy. It requires discipline, a strong work ethic, and an unwavering commitment under even the best of circumstances. But you were truly put to the test beyond anyone's expectations during your final year and then some at Butler University. 
You have done more than stay the course through a global pandemic. You've also experienced major social and political upheavals. You have seen our country grapple with the racial injustices and inequities of its past and its present like never before. Within this larger context, you have also confronted the personal, academic, and professional challenges that are fundamental to the college experience. You have demonstrated your strength of character through your actions, your friendships, and your service to the larger community. Your perseverance, combined with the outstanding education you've received, makes you exceptionally well prepared for the future. All of us, your family and friends, your professors and Butler staff members, are proud of you, and I hope that you feel this pride yourselves as well. As you embark upon an incredible new chapter in your lives, you've proven that no matter what the future brings, you will succeed. We are also grateful, as I know you are, for your parents, family members, and friends. Their support and encouragement have helped you reach this milestone. Let's take a moment to give them a round of applause and thank them for their love, support, and encouragement. And a special shout out to the mothers who are with us on this Mother's Day. I hope this celebration today makes your day even more special. For, yep. for, the, for the mothers in the audience. To our graduates, as you continue your journey as Butler alumni, I wish you success and remind you to lift up others who need help. Continue to serve your family, friends, and communities as you have here at Butler. And please, come back and visit us often. At this time, it is my pleasure to recognize Dr. Catherine Morris, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Morris is concluding her new, nearly 25-year career at Butler University with the most recent tenure serving as Provost as she's been selected as the next President of St. Lawrence University. I am so grateful for all that you have done for Butler. Dr. Morris. Thank you, President Danko. In the Butler University graduating class of 2021, we have 257 graduate students and 978 undergraduate students. For this ceremony of graduates from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, we have 14 graduate students and 277 undergraduate students Congratulations on your academic work. I would like to take a moment to give special commendation to our students who have earned various academic honors, which are distinguished by the special cords or stoles that are part of their academic regalia as specified in the virtual program. Many congratulations to our graduates who have earned these academic distinctions. Graduates, your development as students is a direct consequence of the meaningful interactions that you have had with faculty members both inside and outside of the classroom. Graduates, I ask that you take a moment to reflect on the transformative influence our faculty have had on your lives. Faculty, will you please rise so that we may honor your role in our students' educational success. In addition to being amazing teachers, advisors, and mentors to our students, you have been wonderful colleagues for me over the last 24 years. That's no more especially true than it is in LAS and in the psychology department, and I am just grateful to have had a wonderful career with all of you, so thank you.
Graduates, the diplomas that you are about to receive signify your academic accomplishments under the tutelage of this outstanding faculty grounded in the liberal arts and complemented with training in your discipline or profession of choice. Graduates, the faculty, staff, and administration are proud of you. Indeed, commencement is one of our proudest days on campus. And as you begin a new phase in your life, please know we trust you will be excellent ambassadors for your alma mater. And we look forward to hearing from you about the ways in which you use your Butler degree in your life. We will now present the graduate and undergraduate degrees. Will all members of the graduating class please rise? Mr. President, the candidates standing with us today have completed all the requirements for their respective degrees. They have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees, and I now present them for conferral of their degrees. On the recommendation of the faculty, the provost, with the approval of the Board of Trustees, and by the authority vested in me, I confer upon you the degrees recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. For those of you who are earning your bachelor degrees, you may now move your tassel, which symbolizes your degree from the right side to the left side of your cap. Congratulations. Please be seated. Hello, my name is Scott Bridge. I am a lecturer in the Eugene S. Pulliam School of Journalism in the College of Communication, and I'm also the internship director in the College of Communication. As your reader, I kindly ask that you hold your applause to help make certain all graduate names will be heard and to maintain the decorum of this important day. Once all graduates have been honored, you may applaud their collective accomplishment. I thank you for your respectful consideration. And now I present the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences with Dean J. Howard with students earning the following degrees, Master of Arts, Master of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science. Names are read in the order students are ushered to the stage. Matthew Early. Mackenzie Kurtz. Tyler Jacob Hughes.
Elizabeth Bovaru, Suzette Hackney, Alexander K. Isabella Ferguson, Lisa Frazier, Olivia Basis, Zachary Gossett, Trenton Rust, Anna Geem, Vishnu Vaid, Brian Clow, Elena Ponder, Colleen Morrison, Nicholas Stightley, Madison Jones, Kyle Engelbeck, Morgan Clays, Andrea Robertson, Caroline Lettrick, Victoria Kazek, Aaron Nice, Ariel Karani, Amanda Voigt, Erica Sommerfeld, Madeline Jurgel, Heather Baldacci, Emma Gunst, Sierra White, Emily Huffman Mulet. Jeremy Clary, Michael Jamison, Jared Basinger, Ben Martella, Reeser Wells, Danielle Leduff. Alexandra Cordill, Rua Das, Helen Kyler, Luke Renchik, Lauren Marks, Emma Harris. Madeline Fuchs, Alyssa Ritter, Delaney Cordell, Elizabeth Rates, Noah Klausner, Julia Reynolds, Aaron McCoy, Sydney Ishmael, Marlia Burgetts, Adriel Mabel, 
Lauren Rogers. Caitlin Adir. Clark Adi. Anna Miramontes. Aisha Ba. Erica Zirkelbach. Tessa Miller. Emily Parsons. Elena Hankey. Tyler Wang. Sophia Demergen Flores. Thomas Fritz. Alexi Cordiglu. Jayla Degut. Dimitri Heath. Megan Waxman. Gwendolyn Avayez. Amanda Beal. Caitlin Schindler. Elizabeth Werner. Laura Oliben. Jacob Sadowski. Erica Walters. Austin Jacks. Alexis Myers. Brendan Kelly. Hannah Sparks. Eric Jordan Wright. Kathleen Tisdale. Ashley Guerra. Caitlin Thornton. Joel Harvey. Kevin Ward. Victor Stiepik. Caroline Dobert. Karina Latsko. Allison Griffin. Noah Warfield. Abigail Levine. Corinne Simon. Anna Bradley. Carson Fields. Nina Baronic. Riley Banks. Darby Brown. Alex Hardick. Malcolm Butler. Alexis Graves. Umer Sheikh. 
Reagan Wolford. Alex Sadovitz. Lucas Wathen. Emily Neal. Shelby Skaggs. Catherine Millard. Lindsay Marone. Sarah Taft. Catherine Hussey. Samantha Worden. Dorian Clare. Bridget Castor. Anumo Kadampali. Alejandro Escobedo. Michael Turner. Natalie Shook. Caitlin Penry. Janine Paquette. Jonathan Gray Smith. Miles Wright. Willow Zwick. Madeline Blair. Juliana Kopeka. Catherine Waters. Connor O'Brien. Dakota Love. Amanda Zoyce. Anaya Coles. Sophia Klyla. Justin Zienta. Jamie Brickley. Audrey Davenport. Isabel Beaker. Isabel Geller. Savannah Marchino, Lauren Tubasing, Sarah Engel, Elizabeth Miller, Alec Pfeiffer, Abigail Pluff. Cameron Leisure. Renee Schudick.
Lauren McCart. Justin Rice. Lillian Hinckley. Cole McNamara. Jordan Wendell. Dustin So. Julia Pomeroy. Bryce Eaton. Hannah Bryan. Molly Ann Hicks. Lillian Springer. Sarah Irwin. Jennifer Patrick. Addison Trapp. Alan Burris. Haley Mullenkamp. Grace Bassler. Blair Haw. Claudia Krieger. Alexander Rydberg. Austin Dusak. Isabel Shevitz. Madison Vaughn. Krista Smith. Stephanie Rodriguez. Macy White. Marissa Fazenfeld. Abigail Beckman. Hallie Howard. Lydia Frenzos. Haley Stevens. Emma Hughes. Cade Rock. Layla Barham. Nathaniel Dill. Marisa Villarreal. Anthony Little. Francesca Peabody. James Ewing. Cassidy Tiberi. Grace Butkus. Riley Wells. Meredith Bogansky. Taylor Myers. Rohan Pamidi. Anna Sharon. Nathan Junod. 
Keegan Salwin. Matthew O'Hearn. Olivia Plant. Carlina Domingos. Huda Mahmoud. Lauren Turnbull. Claire Hunter. Daniel Kovalek. Ethan Cunningham. Ty Bickham. Tatum Turner. Benjamin Traverso. Nagma Mebub Tai. Michael Averill. Tristan Dulanavare. Sydney Baines. Benjamin Brown. Ian Montgomery, Samantha Stanley, Corbin Cowger, Elise Merchak, Zachary Safer. Sarah Murray, Dakota Harris, Ryan Hoyman, Sarah Margulis, Bridget Early, Madeline Hooks, Genevieve Smith, Grace Maynard, Tyler Rist, Josie Noel, Brandon Ramsbottom, Victoria Combs, Kiefer Slater, Hannah Wilmore, Paul Ritter, Mary Staczynski, Megan Hill, Sophia Camarillo, Kenneth Burton,
Brock Stater. Grant Eberly. Noah Chop. The alma mater of a university is often the collegiate national anthem. Throughout the lifetime of a university, faculty, staff, students, alumni, and family join in singing the alma mater within university ceremonies as a symbol of loyalty and pride. As these graduates are now leaving Butler University, please enjoy the chorale's performance of the alma mater under the direction of Dr. Eric Stark, conductor and professor of music. Please stand for the singing of the alma mater. In the Let us recognize the talented Butler University Chorale and their director, Dr. Stark, as well as the Butler University Wind Ensemble on the under the direction of Professor Michael Colburn for their beautiful musical contributions to today's ceremony. With sincere congratulations and best wishes to the graduating class, I declare the 2021 Butler University College of Liberal Arts and Sciences commencement completed. Please remain seated until the platform party and the faculty have recessed. Graduates and guests will be released after the recessional.